Hi, just when you thought you'd seen all there was to see with water lenses, we've got another water lens video for you and the two people really to blame for this. One is my brother, the physicist, who keeps coming up with wonderful ideas, and the other is a crazy Dutchman who sold buttons called Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. I'm pretty sure I haven't got that right. He's known as the father of microbiology. In fact, he was a draper. He was born in 1936 in Holland. And he, in, mm, yeah, okay, he invented the microscope. And around about the late 19, 1660s, early 1670s, he was using a drop of water as a microscope. And this is really all over the internet and absolutely fascinating, but fits neatly in with our lenses and maps brother suggested it and that's dead simple to make all you really need is a torch a glass jar I'm going to use a beaker a bit of aluminium bent at uh, 45 degrees you pop the jar on the aluminium torch there shine it and of course the lights reflected up not a good idea to put the torch directly down because you're gonna look into it so have some kind of reflection then what you need is three bits of plastic now with one bit of plastic which is relatively long you need and I'm looking for it there it is a standard hole punch and just punch a hole in that bit of plastic there it is one little hole punched in with the hole punch then you need which I've equally dropped ah, here we go two squares like that now in order to demonstrate this I went out and found myself a puddle I would have loved to have found a pond but the best I could do is a muddy pool and I've collected some water from a muddy puddle I'm hoping there's going to be life in there you know kind of voracious little organisms eating each other but I'm suspecting it's just going to be a bit of dirt but we're going to use this water now with this you pop it on there you put a drop of that on there we go and we get another piece of plastic exactly the same size and pop that other piece of plastic on then we need two pens put two pens there and this final piece this final piece will be the lens in order for this to be the lens we have to put a drop of water right there okay clean dropper clean water piece of plastic with punched hole in it and all you do with it is get a bit of water into that hole it takes a little bit of practice but if you do it right then the water will hold over the hole there we go got it hold over the hole and form a lens now we can clean up the excess water we have ourselves a water lens oops put the slip of plastic on the bit of plastic we put the dirty water on pop our lens on there there we go that is a microscope and you can see into it just by raising your head up and down oh my <laughs> until it comes into focus that's awesome actually I'm going to try and capture a shot of that on my iPhone and we'll see if we can get the iPhone to pick that up Okay, wasn't that awesome? I mean, yes, in our water, which is from a, a drying puddle on the pavement, we got mostly dirt. I couldn't see anything, even though looking for it. But I'd love to take that to a pond or maybe a bit of mud and see what animals are living in there. But this little technique is how in the early, is it 17th century when it's 16 something? The early, late 17th century, microbiology was born. And then Leeuwenhoek is the first, first guy to describe red blood cells. He uh, did some weird things with coffee beans, which are perfectly legal in the rest of the world, but legal in Holland. And he just looked at whatever he could get. He ended up designing something like 500 microscopes. Anyway, thought I would share that with you because um, it was so awesomely simple and so cool to look at the world in a different way. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe.